Hey, let me go on a limp here and make a prediction about aspartame, the world's most popular artificial sweetener. The controversy that has swirled around this chemical since its introduction in 1981 will never disappear. The battle between proponents and opponents will continue ad nauseum, with both sides loading their weapons with scientific studies. The challenge is to determine who is firing live ammunition and who is firing blanks. The battle now is set to intensify as the International Agency for Research on Cancer, IARC, which is an arm of the World Health Organization, is preparing to declare aspartame as a possible human carcinogen. Let's get something straight right off the bat. IARC determinations are based on an analysis of hazard, not risk. Hazard is the innate property of a substance or process to cause cancer. It cannot be changed. Risk, on the other hand, is an evaluation of whether a hazard or substance causes harm under real-life conditions. It can be altered. For example, extracts of aloe vera and ginkgo biloba widely available as herbal dietary supplements, are listed by IARC as possibly carcinogenic to humans because they can trigger cancer when fed to animals in grotesquely large doses. There's no evidence whatsoever that these cause cancer in people who use dietary supplements. As far as aspartame is concerned, this molecule composed of two amino acids has been subjected to literally thousands of studies, of which a couple whose methodology has been criticized, found an increase in cancer in test animals. The most often cited human study linking aspartame to cancer is the NutriNet Santé study in France that followed over 100,000 people who periodically filled out dietary questionnaires over 12 years. The researchers reported an increased risk of cancer associated with the consumption of artificial sweeteners especially aspartame, asulfame potassium, and sucralose. Such observational studies cannot prove a cause and effect relationship, and dietary questionnaires are notoriously unreliable. The same study also showed an increase in cardiovascular disease associated with artificial sweeteners. Since the different artificial sweeteners are totally different chemical entities, hard to see how they can cause the same effect. Leaving the cancer issue aside, there are other concerns about aspartame and its brethren sweeteners. There is significant evidence that intake can affect our microbiome, the composition of bacteria in our gut. Changes in the microbiome are now suspected of playing a crucial role in numerous conditions, including digestive problems, obesity, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and even depression. There are other concerns. A sweet taste in the mouth prompts the body to expect sugar and release insulin. But if the sugar does not arrive, blood glucose drops, and that creates hunger, especially for carbohydrates. Maybe that is why studies indicate that replacing sugar with non-caloric sweeteners does not control weight in the long term. Indeed, long-term use is associated with an increased risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Of course, there's always the possibility of reverse causation, meaning that people suffering from such conditions choose to take sweeteners, hoping to remedy the problem. We will have to wait and see on what basis IARC proposes to list aspartame as a possible carcinogen. In the meantime, there's enough evidence, aside from carcinogenicity, to suggest that the benefits of non-caloric sweeteners have been overhyped and that the effort should be made to cut down both on sugar and sweeteners. A mouse study has even shown increased anxiety attributed to aspartame, with the effect being passed down to offspring. I don't know about the validity of that study, but for sure, the listing of aspartame as a possible carcinogen by IARC is going to cause a lot of anxiety, both for consumers and producers. Well, I'll just keep drinking my coffee black and satisfy my thirst with water. And uh, I think I'll sweeten my yogurt with berries. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.